Okay folks, Bobby here, aka the Noob Carter, and we are in the pits this time. I uh, just thought I'd give you a bit of a start from the pits to see what it's like on our outlap. Now that we're doing these rolling starts, this is the uh, last race of the December race event. Sorry about the uh, delay in getting it out, but Christmas and New Year and all that. But, which, by the way, hopefully you had a good Christmas and New Year. Had a bit of a break, some time with family. Now we're ready for 2021. So we're out on our warm up lap or formation lap. I'm not trying to warm up the tyres here, mostly because we have other classes running on the same day and they were running just before this. So I feel like there's probably enough warmth in the tyres to. Uh, to me it was a very hot day, it was 31, 32 degrees Celsius, so I'd say there's probably some warmth in the tyres already. Before we get started, we're also going to be looking at uh, three tips that I got given by a professional driving coach, TJ, which I will link in the top right corner to his channel. There you go. And also, uh, here's what his website looks like. Uh, someone, well, a subscriber by the name of Dom actually was very kind to uh, give me a session of his of TJ's video coaching for Christmas. So thank you, Dom, and green flag for me. Let's go, go, go! Again, another really clean first couple of corners thanks to the rolling start. I should have, oh, I could have been a bit closer to uh, no one's 16 in front of me but I didn't but within this lap I do catch up so uh, not too big of a, a miss there some nice clean racing which again like I was saying in the last video I absolutely love being a part of this nice clean racing it feels like real racing I guess you know what I mean when it's all bumping, grinding, is pushing people out of the way, it seems cheap. Um, but with this nice clean racing, I'm all for it. So, we're going to dive into our first tip from TJ that he picked up from my driving. And that is the fact that I twist my hand on the steering wheel as I'm coming up to a corner. So, I am twisting my hand to get more leverage to be able to pull down on the steering wheel with my bicep rather than to be pushing with my shoulders and my tricep. So the first tip is not to rotate your hand and, and use your shoulder more to push, push the wheel rather than trying to pull it down. Um, TJ was saying that the bicep, because it is quite stronger, it does have a tendency to possibly put too much input into the wheel and, and so you're over overturning or over too much input and you could be providing more scrub on the tires and, and slowing yourself down so the tip number one from him was pushing on the wheel using your shoulders and your and your triceps to push the wheel around rather than pulling it down one of the other added benefits of this was also it stiffens your relationship in the cart to the cart so there's a stiffer if you're pushing with the wheel you're a, there's a stiffer relationship between you and the cart and that should help stiffen up the cart a little bit uh, because I guess you're a part of the, the structure of the cart while you're in it um, so that's the first tip he gave me uh, which I mean the stiffening of you in the cart also helps you brace in the cart so your seating position is all good as well so uh, let's see another part of that. Number 16 ahead of me, Miss C is all over the back of the driver in front of her. Really trying to find a way to get past because they're slowing us down a bit here. Miss C always has a great great exit to that uh, corner number three and then oops, I'll go a bit wide there just check what's happening behind me can't see anyone at the moment 
the MSC always has a great runoff from uh, this last corner. So let's see what she can do to capitalize on that. She's, oh, she's so close. Getting a bit more time up there. MSC's got a good run. Gets up the inside. Oh, beautiful work. How good was that pass? Good work, Miss C. Oh, running to the back of cut number 19 there. Um, that incident actually brings me to tip number two, which is looking ahead or looking through the driver in front of you. So TJ specifically mentioned that, that incident where I ran into the back of number 19 there as a good example of why I should be looking further ahead than I currently am. Essentially to... Whoop, up the inside, get in there Bobby, yes, good job mate, just told myself good job, good job Bobby, you're the best, you're not the best yet, but good job Bobby, anyway, looking further ahead, so essentially the further ahead you can look, the more time it gives you to react to what's happening in front of you, or what's reacting to coming up, so with that incident where I ran into the back of number 19, if I was looking further ahead I would have looked at Miss C, would have, was over over steering on that corner it was coming back across and I might have been able to go around the outside of 19 on that corner to be able to have an inside line for the next corner corner number eight so that's something I'm really gonna have to work on um, as well as the looking through the driver so you're not just looking at the bumper of the driver in front of you and just sort of following them that is something I definitely do just looking at the bumpers so looking through the person in front of you, looking forward and trying to, I guess, foresee things that are coming up. Um, TJ was saying that when you get used to it, and when you get better at it, the five feet or so around your cart kind of happens in your peripheral as you're looking forward. So you've already picked up your turn in point, your break point, your apex for the corner and you're looking through to next corner, maybe even the corner after that. It is a little bit harder in this track because of the, the walls sort of stop you from being able to do that a little bit. They're not super high but when you're low on the cart they do block your vision slightly. So um, yeah, looking through the driver in front of you, don't just be sort of looking at their bumper and also looking forward to see if there's anything you can take advantage of. So that's tip number two. Miss C again all over the back of driver number five. That's Mr. C. Oh wow. Great move up the inside and she makes it stick. I try to follow her through but I'm left on the outside so I just let him stay in there and see if I can either force a mistake or get through at another point. You might recognize cart number five there that it was the slower cart in the the race i had just previous where it just people just disappeared in front of me um so this is actually mr c again who in race one had the slower cart oh well had a faster car but because of the slower cart and qualifying was a little bit further back so that's him again in the slower cart so got the skills to be faster but the car not so much he's down here with us plebs um, although seventh saying that seventh i am now and that is going to be my best finish if i stay here let's see if we can get into six shall we we're really right up number five's butt let's see what we can do um this is i guess uh the next tip from tj maybe more directed at me specifically but he was saying that I've got a tendency to turn in a touch early for corners. So that might be so, oh, so close to the number five's butt there. Cranking in, oh, I had to pull out of it so I didn't hit him. Lost a bit of time there. But TJ was saying that I turn in early, a little bit too early for some corners and sacrifice my exit speed because of that. And that, and that might be something other people that are relatively new to karting do as well. So that tip was to turn in a little bit later. Now he was specifically talking about one corner, just corner number 10, which is this one here, that I take a little bit too early and it gives me, leaves me too shallow coming out of 
that and then to turn 11. Checkered flag, that is the end of the race. So those three tips again, hand position not rotating your hand and so you're using your bicep to turn, use your shoulders and your tricep to turn. Tip number two is looking ahead and looking through the car in front of you and tip number three, turn in a little bit later. So there's some tips I picked up from TJ. Thank you so much TJ for taking the time to do that karting session for me. Thank you the viewer for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, do all that YouTube-y stuff. Noob Carter, signing off. Have a good night.